this video, I want to focus in on what you can configure and customize for your work list items, which appear here in the sales accelerator. So in this list, I'm looking at leads and by default, I have three rows of data that show up. I've got the name, the follow indicator and predictive score if I have that set up in my environment. Then I'm going to get my job title and the company name and finally the up next activity. But I want to show you in the next few minutes where you can make changes and how you can make changes. So let's dive in now. Our first step in this process, in the magic of editing, I have switched my model driven app. I'm now in the sales hub app. So you're going to have to go to the sales hub if you weren't already there in the first place. And the first thing we have to do is actually just turn on the capability for work items to be customized, because until you do that, nobody, even your system administrator will have the capability to actually go in and customize work items in your organization. So again, we're here in the sales hub under the, my work heading, you're going to go to the sales accelerator, which is my default page. So I'm already here on the work list page here. I'm going to select the more option and then settings. And then we are going to toggle this switch to admin mode to on. Ooh, isn't that exciting? And you might have noticed as soon as we toggle this to on, we get this lock customization by default on. So this is going to prevent any sellers from overriding your customization. So you can keep that checked by default. It's a good idea. Or if you want to let your sellers make their own changes to the work items, you can uncheck this box and then it won't be locked. So this is step one. You've turned on an administrator mode. We're going to go ahead and click save. And now we're going to move on to part two, which is customizing the work items for your organization. So now we've moved on to the fun step. Let's configure our work item appearance. On the left hand side, we have our real time preview as we make changes. And on the right hand side is actually configuring this. So a couple things I can do here is change how my icon appears. Right now it's set to record initials. I can change that to record image, record type, which is really interesting if you're going to have work list items with multiple tables in your system and activity type. I'm going to do record image for now and then I can configure additional things. So we can add the plus icon to add a fourth row of data. So we could add something like an email address. That could be a really interesting thing to add. So let's add email. And if I want to add a second box on that row, instead of hitting the plus icon, which will give me a whole new row of data, I can hit the three dots right here, more options. I can add a field, add an icon or remove that role. So I'm going to click add a field. And you can see there's both record fields. So I'm on the lead. So these are all of the columns on the lead table. I could also select from the related record fields too which will give me all of the related tables off of that. So like parent account could be really interesting, right? I could pull in the details of the account, but for this, I'm going to grab on phone number. So let's grab the mobile phone and you can see this is what it's starting to look like. Finally, I can click this icon with a pencil edit on the up next activity. And by default, they're all turned on. I can turn some off if I'd like click save, and then all the details are going to change. So here we are back in my user facing model driven app. And you can see my work list items have that fourth row of data that shows the email address and their mobile phone number. So that is super easy to configure. And again, just as a very quick refresher to configure this, you will click, you will go to your sales accelerator. You will click the three dots here, go to settings, make sure your switch to admin mode is toggled on and make all the changes that your heart desires here. Remember the goal here is to make this easier, more intuitive and more awesome for your users. So go out there and spread additional joy to your sales users.